Hey, hey, welcome back, welcome back, everybody. It's your guy, old family, and we are about to get into the Honda T2 review. Straight up, straight like that. But before we get him T2, we got him all maxed out, ready to go. Uh, I wanted to just, you know, just show something that's interesting with the character. Now, his T2 passive is, you know, pretty decent. He gets some guaranteed dodge, so we're gonna want to work on that guaranteed dodge on, on that dodge. Um, he gets some decrease to all damage, and he gets some skill damage boost. So you know, not bad. But like, let, let's talk about his kit real quick. Now, as you can see, most of his skills are on one. We boosted, uh, we maxed out the third because of the guard and the uh, the blind and the and the buff, and then we uh. That was about that's about all we boosted up because that's about all the only thing that I felt like was worth it. And you know, um, gold is kind of low right now. I, I like his uh his leadership. That thirty six percent um all defense is, is pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Um, but yeah, we left all the skills out. One now you want to max all his skills out because he just does way more damage, obviously. And um, you know, you wanna you, you wanna help that bleed and that burn damage on the on the one and the five do more damage, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna run in a twelve one with him at T one because I just wanna show like this this guy is stupid strong. Like it doesn't make any sense. Um I was just playing around with him the other day and I was like, you know, I, I was just running um, you know, running some some of the later levels with him at T one and I was like, yo, like he you know, it took me like seven minutes to clear the stage, right? But it was the fact that he cleared the stage. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Like, he, he got it done. Like, there wasn't one, like, moment where I felt like I was going to die with him at T1. You know what I'm saying? Um, and fighting Hella is pretty hard. So, I was like, yeah, he definitely deserves to be T2. Like, this mm -hmm. guy is a cannon. You know what I'm saying? And he's not a glass cannon either. As you can see, he has a, he has about three iframes. Um, he has a guard, he has a bleed on the one, he has a buff on the three, he has a a, a a burn on the five. I mean, shit is nuts. And as you can see, it affects the character, you know what I'm saying? Now that probably now that, that won't be the, the same situation for the world bosses, but um it still doesn't take away from his DPS to be honest. Now I have a, a custom gear on him that's uh that's stun immunity. I really think that works good for him. A lot of characters have, you know, some type of stun. If you want to go immune to guard break, that might be even better. Um, but I like the way the stun works for him. But um, you definitely want to work on his crit rate. Definitely want to work on crit rate and dodge crit damage. Um, you're going to get the most out of those stats with him. You know, obviously you want to get the, 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 uh, the necessary defense pin. And skill cooldown for him, but um, those are, like those are the main stats you really want to uh, you really want to go for. You know what I'm saying? With the ISO and the um and with the uh, the ooh, you know what I mean? Definitely want to work in his dodge. That guaranteed dodge, you're gonna see that pop up a lot. It's gonna work a lot. That shit actually works. Thirty five percent is a lot. I mean, looking a little, a little beefier now. Not bad. We still could work on him, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, it's just this. You know, we we just gonna run into it and just kind of see what we what, what what we could do. You know what I'm saying? This guy is nuts. Now, um, we did the T1 thing. I just want you to see. Uh, we were trying to get in here without a shifter. But, um, you know, I guess the guys was happy to see him. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, yeah, now we're ready to go. And as you can see, the numbers is obviously bigger. We're obviously doing a lot more damage. This is a lot easier. The skills are still on one, though. I wish I boosted up the skills. Or I maxed all the skills out because, like, it's nuts. His damage just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Now you wanna uh for the skill road, you always wanna start off with the three. Um hit him with the one for the bleed, hit him with the five for the burn, 
and then you got the the two for the stun, and then you want to hit that four. I mean, you want to hit, you want to wait for the three again, pop the three, then hit the four. So it's three, five, one, two, three, four, one. You know what I'm saying? Like that four though, you don't ever want to use that four until directly after. So to be even honest, to be more real, you want to go three, four, right? Then five, then two, then one. Okay. So three, four, five, two, one. One and two have uh 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 one two and five all have um iframes. You know what I mean? Like as you can like as you're gonna see, you know we're able to do this shit no problem. Not even really get hit like that. Took him a while to hit us, to be honest. Took him a while. I like fighting um the dog because it's like you know he's all over the place. You know what I mean? He's all over the place. And he has a bleed. His bleed is nuts. Word. So it's like, it's fun to fight him. You know what I'm saying? You got to use strategy. See how the bleed and the burn is just like constant. And then the blind. Now, I don't know how much the blind works. But I guess, you know, if you add, uh, the more dodge you have, I think the blind works better. You know what I mean? So, like, you really want to work on his dodge. You know what I mean? Just try to get that maxed out if you could. Yeah, I think I'm going to give him a dodge obelisk, to be honest. I like that stun, though, but... I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I need to get one of those CTP custom gears. Oh, my goodness, man. We'll go for it. Give it to him. Word. Two minutes, no problem. No problem. Now, I'm not going to say Hamdil is like a must-have character. You know what I mean? But he is a, a, you know, there's a short supply of universal heroes. You know what I mean? So, you, know, you, you might just want to pick him up. And then he's a good, you know, he's a newer character. So, his, uh, his kit is, is is of the times, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get iframes, you're gonna get a guard at least, maybe a, maybe a damage immunity, you know what I'm saying? So you're good. You're better off getting him than like, I don't know, Loki or something, you know what I'm saying? Even though Loki's pretty good though now, with his uniform, I guess, I don't know. I still wanna use him. But you, you know, you wanna go for him. He's just, he's just a better character. Like I said, with the world bosses, you know, with the burn and the bleed, you would think it takes away from his DPS, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Not really. But you do want to swap in and out if you get debuffed and you lose your skill damage because that shit is just it's, it's ridiculous. You basically need that. See how he's dodging everything? That doesn't make any sense. That guaranteed dodge is no joke. 35% is no joke. You're not really taking much damage. That stun immunity works. Let's <laughs> go. So, dodging everything. He's dodging everything. I don't know why he doesn't have a move that hits like characters when they're in um when they're in iframe mode. I don't know why. He's he's supposed to. He's supposed to be like Look at his eyes, like I'm pretty sure like he can target anybody. And then he has ignore dodge. Why didn't he give him more ignore dodge in his T2? Like twenty or thirty, you know? I mean he did give him ten on his uh four star passive, but you know, still. That's pretty strong, but it's not. They could have gave him another 10 with the skill, you know what I'm saying? That's like a skill. You know, like how, like, how, like, um, Agent Venom has, like, 10% ignore dodge as a skill. 
and and in his four star passive, they could have did that for me. I think ignore dodge goes good with him. Word. Luckily, though, nowadays you could get ignore dodge on the cards. I did not know that. And that is dope. I have to get a card that has ignore dodge. Facts. Yeah, they definitely should have took advantage to uh, of like giving more characters um skills that hit character that that can attack characters in their iframe mode because like currently the only person who can do that is Cyclops and I think they could have like you know had some fun with with with, with, our, with our guy here but nonetheless I I still think he's a cool character and I have you know. I got nothing but love for the character, to be honest. Very strong, man. Very strong. This was a nail biter, though. You know what I'm saying? He was like really getting it in here with this guy. Word. But as you can see, like his defense is ridiculous. He's really good. His defense is really good. That dodge like works constantly. Mind you, we have once um our skills are on level one. I gotta keep pointing that out there because it's like don't think this is the this is like the top DPS that he's doing right. Now. I mean, obviously, your mind is not the, the best Honda anyway. I don't have like the rank one Honda, but like like he his damage is like way better than this you know what i'm saying like that's the thing i want you that's just the note i want to put out like we're like you know what we always do is on these reviews we try to make it you know difficult so we can kind of see how we can kind of push the limit of the character but um yeah his shit is he's really fucking strong now in timeline um see i'm in platinum so it's like you know it's hard to get good matches. I mean, Vibranium, I, I find better matches with Vibranium. I stopped playing that timeline show. I don't know why, but I got to start playing it again. But um, if you're going to use him in timeline, you can. Um, But yeah, you know, you definitely want to give him um that uh that invincibility. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to use him in timeline, um, you definitely want to do that for him. Facts. And throw in either uh throw in either Wasp or uh or Odin for that debuff removal for that uh 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 remove debuff shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he's good. He's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. But in situations like you know when you're fighting a a Wolverine, you know what I'm saying? A you want all your skills maxed, which is why I was a I'm upset that I didn't max his skills, and you're gonna have to have an invincibility obelisk. You know what I'm saying? Cause he almost got him, but you know, he he'd have been able to go longer if he had that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hulk, man. I just wanted to show, like, you know, just to kind of let Hulk do his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Hulk with eye frames is ridiculous, but nonetheless, that's our boy. <laughs> what a Kawinki dink. She's nuts though. I gotta build my hella though. I should have been working on it. Oh boy. Oh wow. Phoenix. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. It was like kind of close. I'll take that. Skills on level one. I don't care. All right, let's get a um, let's get one of these in. Yo, Loki bios. I haven't played a a battle world with Loki bios for like the longest. That used to be the only battle world they like had back in the day. Everything was fucking Loki. <laughs> 
or niggas is really going hard for Loki bios. Let's go. I think this was easy though. Yeah, this was easy. We shouldn't have put Thor um next to us. We should have put it like Loki or something. That's too easy. Yeah, man. Nonetheless, though, this guy is really nuts, man. You know, it's not really much more to uh to really say. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just kind of want to get him and just work on him. You know, you want to work on that dodge. Right now, we got almost 40%. Um, I didn't even talk about the ISO. Now, the reason why I gave him I'm also Groot, personally, I want to, you know, like I said, the crit rate. But he has, like, his kit is so good, you know, on his four, on, on, on in, on his three, like I said, he has a buff. You know what I'm saying? He already has an all attack buff. So I felt like, you know, having that on the on the ISO. And then you could constantly like activate it. To have it on the ISO and just, you know, activate it every minute, I don't think it's worth it. You wanna give him that hit. You know what I'm saying? He he's gonna make more use. He's gonna get more use out of it. You know what I'm saying? Um but anyway, this is the T2 Hamdu review. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're gonna catch you guys in the next video.